John and Adam again at Apache Village. We're standing in front of a 2024 Jayco Alante 29S. It's an awesome floor plan built on the Ford F53 chassis. Has the new 7 point, well new to us kind of, we've had the V10 forever, but the 7.3 liter Ford V8 that we'll talk about a little bit. And also, this is a really cool floor plan because we have an outside kitchen. Yep. So Adam's gonna touch on some of the outside features we have and then we'll sneak inside and uh, take a look at the floor, rest of the floor plan on the interior. Good afternoon guys, how we doing? Um, so 29S 2024, on the 18,000 pound chassis, um, one thing Jayco tried doing with this guy, our 27A, that's the step below it, is trying to get you guys into coaches that are under 30 feet. So this guy, I know it's over 30 feet. It's 32 foot. Our 27A actually is 29 foot, 11 inches. So those people out there that don't want that big monstrosity of a motorhome, we have this smaller coach. You step back and look at it. It may look big. This guy's small compared to a lot of the coaches that are out there. They're all 35. 38 foot long it's like man that's just too much for me so jayco took that into consideration for everybody that's out there we have j right suspension so what jayco will do they're going to put joust bumpers on this they're going to computer balance the drive shaft after we actually build the motorhome on the chassis so they'll build the motorhome put it on the chassis then we drive it and then we come back we dr drop the drive shaft computer balance it after that because we put all that weight that we just put on there 15,000 pounds of stuff onto that drive shaft so therefore you don't have that mix of those yokes going down the road doing this. It's gonna give you a much smoother and quieter ride that's on there. And then we're gonna do a Bielstein uh, steering stabilizer. No one's doing that. Why? It costs too much money. Jayco wants to do that because they want you to go through and have the quietest riding, best handling class A in the market. And they're doing it because no one else does it here. So those are a few things that we're doing. Also, our floor is bolted through rubber isolators. They look like a big donut. And the bolt goes through it into the frame. So therefore now my floor is sitting on rubber opposed to sitting straight on steel. Again, I'm not gonna hear this noise going down the road. It's gonna be nice and quiet. We don't have to worry about the kids in the back losing a feeling or two. But on the outside, Jayco goes through and vacuum bonds their exterior sidewalls. Then we're gonna gel coat all the outside. So you got gel coat. It's gonna look like a big coach that has paint on it, but it's not paint. It's a gel coat. That's what we put over the outside fiberglass to make it look shiny. So it preserves it for a much longer period of time see that nice reflection on there that guy's locked it's a small storage bin there on your 29 footer so you're gonna have two pass-through bins so you got this pass-through storage here then back behind the wheel we're gonna have another pass-through storage you don't find this in small coaches like this because they don't have the space to be able to do it and then the construction of it so when we go through and we do that now I can throw all my stuff in there now I have to worry about running out of space inside this guy with our outside kitchen that's here in the back we have a hookup for a gas line for your outside griddle everybody's got a blackstone or a capital griddle they can hook up to it we can run the hose right through here and have my stove set up right here under my tv right by my outside sink and my refrigerator but then also there's a very easy access bin we got the hydraulic pump for our jacks you're going to have two 12 volt deep cycle marine batteries on the motor ride tray it's going to slide up Easy access for us to go through and check the water levels. That's one thing a lot of people don't do, is check their water levels. Maintain your batteries, folks. Yep, and then our uh, propane tank. So it's all right here, easy access for us to go through and get into the stuff. So if we ever had a problem with our jacks or propane system, we're right here. Then we have our outside kitchen. It's all metal. We used to use it for mica top and wood out here. Um, when we go camping, we sometimes indulge in too many cocktails and we forget to close this door. Well, what was happening is our countertops were slowing up, so Jacob took it upon himself. It's like, let's go ahead and make this metal and not have to worry about anything. We do have two nice cabinets that are up here so we can have all of our uh, spices, utility stuff for all of our cooking and everything there. And then we do have a drawer that's here for us as well. Perfect. And then nice little drink fridge. There you go. That's there. Then on the back of the coach, we're going to have the hitch that's back here. Depending on <laughs> which way you want to go through and talk and all that good stuff here, we're going to be 5,000 pounds towing capacity. Uh, we can get up to 7,500, but then it does take away from our other stuff that we can put inside of the coach. So I always tell, like to tell everybody it's 5,000 pounds. We can get up to uh, 7,500 pounds. We have the ladder that's on the back of it. One thing that you're going to find with Jayco on their price point leaders on their class A's, this has a full fiberglass roof. 
You're not going to find that in your price point leaders on gas coaches. You're going to find it on big diesel coaches because they don't worry about the money. Here, we're worried about money, but we're not. So when you step back and look, our fiberglass actually rolls over the side of that sidewall and it's screwed to the side of it. Where some people, if they claim they have a fiberglass roof, there's a track that looks just like this on your roof that you have to seal every year. Yep. We don't have that because that fiberglass rolls down the side of the, uh, the roof onto the sidewall, so therefore water can't get in there at all. You don't have all these extra seams that you have to worry about when you're going down the road. You know, here, I'm gonna show them that real quick. Give me that in a second. All right. Just so you can see what we're talking about here, this is what Adam is describing. So you see how it rolls over the sidewall. Let's say you did have a leak up here or something. It's also advantageous that it's over the edge of the sidewall rather than screwed straight down to the top or with a track even on that seam there. Hand this back to Adam. There we go. All right. So those are little things that Jayco's doing because we know when we're going to the state campgrounds and some of your national parks, there are trees that are over the road. And those trees going down, and if they hit that the old rubber roof, it could puncture that rubber roof. Here, that branch is gonna just go down and slide down the side of it. It's not gonna scratch or anything of that sort. So we're we're doing it for you guys. Fuel tank fills back here in the back. Then here you're gonna have your water compartment with our power cord. Jayco does a great job with their water compartments because I'm gonna hook up to city water here. I'm gonna fill my fresh water tank through this. I'm gonna winterize my motorhome through here. So it's all done right here. And it's just done by these levers that are here. So right now, these levers are in winterized mode. You got the white one going parallel, blue one, green one, red one, they're all going parallel. So to put it in city water, you literally flip that, flip this, I'm in city water connection. You wanna fill your tank? Okay, fill my tank. Boom, we're ready to go. So it makes it very easy for you guys and us because it can get confusing on how to do all this, but we do a picture diagram right here for us. Outside shower, black tank flush, light switch for the light here, and then we have a water pump switch. So in case we are dry camping and we forgot that we need a, to turn the water pump on inside, I can come out here, flip it on, and I can flip it back off when I'm finished with it because you have your outside shower that's right here as well. Then you got your low point drains in the back. Big white canister is gonna be your whole house water filtration system. Uh, every ounce of water that comes out of any faucet, toilet, sink, it's gonna be all filtered. One thing I wanna pay, show you guys, and it's, everybody's like, oh yeah, it's a power cord. I wanna talk about this. This is a 30 amp cord. Remember that. When we get inside, I'm gonna talk about what we're doing with a 30 amp cord and what we're able to do. Then, locked, but behind that one is gonna be our black and gray valves. Nope, sorry, that one's here. Black, black and gray valves are there. Then pass through storage there. Then I'm gonna leave this generator. next door closed. It's your 4,000 watt Michael Quiet owning generator. And it. then another storage bin here. We put our side mount cameras in the actual bottom fish eye of the mirror. So you can go through and adjust that. So if you wanna see more of your blind spot, I can go through and move this this way for you and see exactly where John right there when you're going down the road. It's then, helpful, yeah, when you're navigating around curbs and you wanna get up close to something, it's really advantageous to use that mirror and that camera. And then we're doing big frameless windows up front. So therefore we're, you know, it's all about the journey getting to our destination. So we do the big windows there and then we wrap this around a 112 inches or 102 inch wide windshield so you can see out of it. So it takes away a lot of blind spots, but also when you're driving down the road, you're gonna be able to see everything that's out there because that's what we wanna do. Then you're gonna have your access to your hood, flip those down, swing this down, and we have access to everything that's right here that we need to access. Air filter, power steering fluid, oil, transmission fluid. And then we'll have our 12 volt battery up front for our start motor, and then we have our windshield wiper fluid on the side. Very easy access this and the windshield gives us huge feel of vision a lot of times you have a blind spot you know right here because so those that pillars go up there yep, absolutely this gray part right here is partial paint so this actually is painted so when you look at a Jayco and you step back like wow that thing's painted it's not but this is painted on the actual uh, front cap so therefore it gives it a nice nice finish and then we actually clear coat all of this down here but that's our uh, outside on the 29s um, oh, look at this awning, it's huge. 
Huge. Covers your door, covers your TV, covers your outside kitchen. So now we can be camping out here and not have to worry about the rain getting us unless it's just a monsoon. And at that time, I'm gonna tell you to go inside because no need to be outside drinking beer while it's raining. Um, but yeah, that's the outside. Let's head inside. It's cold, let's go. All right, walking inside. So right inside of our uh, entry door, you're gonna have interior, exterior lights, your power step, that allows your step to stay out, your main power disconnect, and then we have the controller here. One thing that Jayco changed, I believe it was 24, um, they went to a 200 watt uh, solar panel standard with the controller and a second house battery. So therefore we can go boondocking or camping when, you know, if we don't want to run the generator all the time. So it's nice because it's there for us to use it, especially when our coach is in storage. The sun goes up every day, we get UV rays, it trickle charges our battery and helps keep them up. And then your main awning switch and then accent lights are right above us. All right. Both driver and passenger seats swivel. Uh, Jayco builds these seats. So they take our, um, just lost her name, our interior designer lady. Oh. Yep, see, oh, you did it too. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I can picture her face. I'll think of Stacey it. Stacy Stewart. Stacy Stewart, thank you. So our interior designer, Stacy Stewart, she does an amazing job. We have all of our furniture that Jayco builds in-house. So we take the uh, Ford chassis, and when they drive it, if you go up to the factory, you'll literally see them driving on a five gallon bucket because we yep. take the Ford seats, we ship them back to them because we don't need them because we take their, they keep the seats, we build our own. So therefore this material is the exact same color and material as it is back here in the back. So therefore you don't have two different colors or like a cloth seat and then you have all this beautiful leather back here. So Jayco wants all that uniform. Passenger seat, we take taken out all the carpet up front. All right, we're going to get into this a little bit. So we took the carpet out. We used to use carpet for an insulator. Well, when they went to the V8, we shortened the head, shortened the block. So therefore, our doghouse is a lot smaller. But then also, we put a lot more insulation underneath of this. So therefore, if we ever had a problem, we took, take this all off. But now that heat's not going to come back up through here to, you know, get you guys nice and hot when it's cool. Like, it is hot outside. We need to keep you cool. Um, so then we do the rubber mats on the sides over there. One tin outlet USB, USB ports on the side. Then the tray for our co-pilot. You can be sitting here, you know, iPad, what have you, uh, Atlas. You can run it all there. And then we'll do the Sony uh, radio. As you notice, the backup camera's on. Uh, Apple uh, CarPlay, Android Auto, all hooked up to it. Uh, we can put navigation through our phones, through the Apple and Android stuff that's there as well. This has the new dash on these. Uh, we changed our dash in 2022 um, to the new Ford dash. Um, we did. They did a great job it's getting a little more high tech and a little more electronic. You know, better looking feel. It's all one piece going all the way across, so it's nice and. It's a nice little cockpit that you got here. Then on the left hand side, we have our equalizing system, um, accent lightings, power mirrors, USB ports, and all that good stuff on the driver's side over there as well. Then you'll have compartment doors on either side of the drop down bed. Uh, drop down bed, this is where Jayco stands apart. Um, our closest competitor is 500 pounds on this drop down bed. Jayco is at 750. Uh, it is overkill, but we do that because we know that no one else in the industry is going to do a 750 pound weight capacity up here. Uh, this is our cushion for our dinette booth when we make it into a bed. Then you lift this up. We have a table for in between the driver passenger seat. Then you have these two pieces of wood uh, material here. One's going to be for the front here. One's going to be for uh, against the windshield up front. So in case we do have little kids sleeping up here, they're not going to roll off onto the dashboard or they're not going to roll off out here so we're thinking of you guys two little black hooks our ladders in the back it's literally a collapsible ladder we hook it on there we can climb up there to it so Perfect. we go in all the seat belts so again jayco they're they're the only ones doing 750 on their drop down beds like i said our closest competitor is 500 pounds and this will be a safety switch with our seat belt here so when we take this and we bring the bed all the way up we literally plug the seatbelt in. Now the switch is still there. It does not work. It's a safety thing, so we don't have the kids dropping it down on us while we're going down the road. Um, storage all across the top. The 29S, we just, John and I were just talking, like we love this floor plan because it's a full wall slide on a 20, you know, 29 foot motorhome. You don't see that a lot in motorhomes because they don't have the, the structure underneath of it like we do. So 
But the th cool things we gain is you're gaining your theater seats that are going to be directly across from our TV because our TV does come out swivel. And then we have the uh, dinette booth that's here as well. Um, so if you wanted, you can put this into the bed form, use this as recliners as well. Um, so therefore, you're getting a lot of people that are, in, are going to be in a relaxed position watching TV. Um, and then we have our storage compartments that are up here. Uh, one thing, let's rethink of what I was talking about. We had the 30 amp service on this coach, okay? When you look at coaches that have two air conditioners, you're always envisioning two, two air conditioners and a huge 50 amp cord. You got two air conditioners and a 30 amp cord. How'd we do that? Well, we went from 13.5 to 13.5. We went down to two 11,000 BTU air conditioners. So our in engineers at Jayco, they went through and were like, all right, how can we do this? Well, this run, both of these run under 30 amps. They're gonna run at like 21 amps total when they're both running. So that's how we're able to do two air conditioners on a 30 amp service. No one else does that. Jayco is. Then come in here into the middle of the coach very simple jayco's simple when it comes to a lot of this stuff that's out here start stop for your generator you have a start stop on the dashboard hours counter slide out switch tank heaters so since this cat gas class a is sort of like your price point leader we're not going to heat the tanks we're not going to do any of that stuff but day like today it's a little chilly i'm going to take this flip the switch on therefore now my fresh tank black tank and gray tank are all heat being heated right now by pads that we put on there um so therefore we can go camping a little bit earlier in the season or a little bit later in the season not worry about stuff freezing up on us but then again water heater lp gas and then you're going to have your all your buttons here um, these are going to be for your monitor panel so propane battery fresh tank black gray one and gray two gray one going to be your kitchen sink bathroom uh, gray two is your outside kitchen sink. That's going to be much less gallons too. Yeah. I'll yeah, they'll do the here, forty-nine. You're probably going to go forty gallons for the front, and then a yeah. nine-gallon tank for that back because it's. I mean, it literally is just your outside kitchen sink. Washing so. your hands and stuff. Yeah. Then you got your power control center. This is going to tell you what you're running off of. You're either running on shore power or we're running off the generator. Now you see the generator, thirty-three amps, and then you go through this. And it's going to tell you what power, how much power we have going through the motorhome if we're running any. But also it tells you if like something's not working, it's like, okay, it's going through and it's not working. I can get in here and start doing a lot of stuff on this. Water heater is powered. If you're losing power, it's going to tell you, hey, you don't have power going to this. And then now we start checking breakers, stuff like that and all that stuff. All right. Um, and then there's our Xantrax inverter. Uh, it's an 1800 watt inverter that we put on this inside the coach. Uh, what it's going to be for is your TV, your outlets next to your bed, and I believe your bedroom TV as well. So therefore, we're boondocking or we're stopping for the night and we don't want to have the generator running. I have a CPAP machine. I need to use that to sleep. I can flip my inverter on. Then I'm producing power for the outlets next to my bed so I don't have to run my generator. And that's ran off the two 12-volt uh, batteries that are on the coach. So it's, it's nice. Um, Jayco, two seat belts for each booth. Seat belt, seat belt for your dinette, uh, for your theater seats. Seat belt, seat belt here. Again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. You watch our videos. Everywhere we put a butt, we put a seat belt, except for the toilet. Uh, but one thing I will say with Jayco on this guy, and the only reason I know this is because I have a two-year-old at home. Black hooks. Yep, there you go. Childish state uh, for our car seats. We can go through and put the hooks and latch them in that way. We can take our, done I, I've done it too. It's a benefit of working here. We get to borrow the stuff. So my wife, we went to Houston two years ago. She's like, how are we gonna strap Evelyn in? I'm like, well, let me show you. Boom, hooked it on there, hooked the seat belt uh, onto the car seat and then strapped her in and she was all safe. We didn't have any issues at all. Great place for a pack and play, by the way, if you need one when you're at the campground. You drop this whole thing down, put the thing over there, pack and play stays there all weekend, and your walkway's free. Yes, Little sir. tip for you uh, new parents out there. Very good. I remember <laughs> we did that. Um, coming into our kitchen, we got a ton of storage. We got our nice overhead cabinets that are here, a bunch of pet plates and everything of that sort soap dish or uh, little SOS pads. And then we got the full extension drawers that are here. Nice little deep drawer here on this guy. And then you're gonna have this guy here. It's gonna be a storage. I'm gonna throw a trash can down there. You know, that's the one thing. So that way the trash can's out of the way. We're not worrying about where we're we gonna store it. We can put it there. Three big drawers there. We went to the 30 inch overhead microwave. So it's nice because it's 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 a residential size microwave. Um, so we don't have to worry about you know not being able to put stuff inside there. Lights for our burners. 
the one cool thing with these Furions, and this is a uh, stove that we're using all across the board. As soon as you turn this on, it turns red. It tells you that that burner is on. It may not be lit, but it's telling you that it's open. If your propane tank's on, it's going to be pouring propane into here. So if you walk by and you notice that these are red, like, oh, hey, let me turn that off and then ventilate everything. One thing I'm going to say, open the stove cover when you go to use your burners. <laughs> yep. Everybody now, a lot of people are going to electric and everything like that. They see this and like, oh, I can turn this on and I'm going to cook on it. You cannot cook on this. <laughs> It's not covered under warranty. Just let you guys know. All right, uh, 12 volt, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. It's nice because again, because we're boondocking, I don't have to run the generator. I'm not burning propane. This refrigerator cools just like a refrigerator at your home. We use a compressor on side of it. All right. Huge walk-in bathroom. Um, this bathroom is huge for a 29 footer. Uh, we have a barn door. We'll close that off here in one second. John's going to step inside that shower. All right. One thing that Jayco does do, and you guys, customers don't get to see this, but we, I gotta tell you about it, because it's what we do. John could jump in that shower right oh, now. Yeah, absolutely. Literally jump in it, and we wouldn't break head. anything. The reason we can do that is there's a piece of 5 ace plywood underneath of that shower basin, and then we have two by fours that are building a platform. Our competitors use styrofoam. We all know styrofoam, no matter how much you push it, yes, it'll come back out, but it flexes. What's right there by his feet? The drain. What's going to happen is you're going to start flexing, that drain's going to start leaking, and when you find that leak, it's too late. Your floor is rotten, and we got a big problem. Where Jayco, we don't want you to worry about that at all. So we're building that platform. So when you stomp on it, it's, oh, wow, that's solid. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, not yeah. flexing at all. <laughs> so 200 pounds. <laughs> little things that Jayco's doing that, you know, we want to reiterate and let you know that, like, we're looking out for you guys in the long run. Like, not just today. We, we want to earn your business, but also... We don't want to see you like next week because this is broke, that's broke. So that's why Jayco takes the time to build this stuff the way they do. Huge medicine cabinet inside here. His and hers. We do put a little small towel bar here. But then also one thing that we listen to the ladies in the industry because you guys, you know, you guys give us a lot of ideas because we don't think about it. Look at that countertop space in a bathroom. It's two and a half foot long. Yeah. Storage down here. And then a little bit of storage down here for our toilet paper. I'm going to take a, a, a trick that a good friend of mine's parents told me to do because um, I gave her a little bit of trouble because I thought she was, you know, drinking too much. She took a wine rack, six wine rack bottle holder, and mounted it on the wall. I was like, man, for, for the bathroom? <laughs> She's like, Adam. I said, what? And she said, it's for our towels. And I was like, oh. Uh, makes sense. Roll them up. Instead of folding them, roll them up and put them up there. They're up there out of the way. So that way if you, I mean, we can sleep two, four, six people in here, six tiles instead of having all six tiles hanging over here or just out everywhere. I can roll them, put them back up there. So we only have the one tile bar in here. Yep, uh, porcelain toilets. It's nice because we could get away and use a plastic one. Uh, the porcelain's great if we do take kids and they forget to flush the toilet. The ABS plastic toilets that we used to use and we still use, they hold urine. These guys won't because it's porcelain. Uh, but then, like I said, huge barn door to close off our bathroom. It's nice because we're not taking away floor space when we are using the bathroom. I don't have to open the door, swing it all the way open, get back out of the way, and then go back and use it. I just literally just open and close it, and we're good to go. Then walking into the bedroom, again, another pocket door to close off the bedroom to give mom and dad uh, some privacy. Then either side of the bed, you're gonna have your little bitty uh, USB ports that are on the side. These are actually our wireless chargers that are on the, uh, the side over here. Storage across the top. We put a 110 outlet inside here because in the middle here, we actually have a hole for our CPAP machine. So now, I don't have to take up my good countertop space for my glasses, my water, anything of that sort. I can put my CPAP machine in a cabinet closed, out of the way, out of sight on mine, and then run my hose down through here, and then we can sleep comfortably. This one we ordered with a uh, queen size bed. There is an option for a king if we want to go king. You're just your end tables on side of the bed, they just go smaller because your king bed's 12 inches wider than this. Um, but then inside here, Lift your TV up. We got storage that's back behind it. Then you got three big drawers here. Huge closet. And then that's your foldable ladder. That's where it stores. That's where the front bunk. 
and then you got your hanger up top there so that's the nice thing when like i said john and i were talking about this coach like what you gain out of it oh heck i skipped it here's a pantry right next to your refrigerator yeah snuck that in there too the storage that you gain in a 29 foot motorhome you're not gonna i mean hands down i mean i want to say this is one of the best that's out there um then you can lift this guy up you got more hidden storage that's back there as well and the reason we don't have a bunch of storage under here we got all of our electric that's coming in here. So you got your breaker panel, 12 volt fuses. So that's where I'm hiding all that stuff inside my coach. And I'm taking away from good usable storage that's out inside. But just the amount of floor space that you gain, the storage, the countertop space, I mean, the sleeping quarters. I mean, for a 29 footer, I mean, if we wanted, we could take those theater seats out and we could get a couch in there and we could sleep two more people if we wanted yep. to. And having the full wall slide out and no break in the middle of the floor plan for a double slide or something like that gives us big open feeling. Once again, I know he said it a hundred times already, but like in this short of a coach, to have all this open floor space and this direct line of sight from the front to the back just gives you the sense of having a big, nice open area. And then really, this is all utilized. Turn these chairs around, we have living space. The whole thing is uh, usable. You know, there's no wasted space in here. It's really You're cool taking six place. people. You can sit six people in here comfortably. And if it's you get a washout weekend, we're going to have it. You're gonna get rained out and you're gonna be like, oh, we can't go outside, we can't do anything. Flip those two around, flip these two around. You have two sitting areas here. So no, you're not feeling like you're right on top of each other while you're in here camping, if it is raining, you know? But if it's not raining, kids, get outside, let's go, come on. Ride our bikes, go play in the mud. We're good. But yeah, I mean, if there's anything that you guys wanna see uh, additional on this one, feel free to call up here, ask for me, I'm Adam or John. We'll be more than happy to come back out here do a follow-up video like john says put it in the comments um we'd love to see you guys and uh if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us thanks adam thank you so adam and i were back in this thing and i was like hold on pull this right back out really quick so one of the biggest benefits of having a coach this size and why people get intimidated by bigger stuff obviously this thing is extremely maneuverable he was backing it right in here i was like hold on pull it out let me show you how easy it is to back this thing up so go right ahead adam he's a trained professional folks so he's whipping this sucker right in here <laughs> right into this slot and no just problem for the video's sake i know wheel. john can't hear me I know he's probably back there talking. Look at this coach come right around into this. Having spot. a walkie talkie no back here or over. even and this backup camera is actually mic'd travel trailer up. So right up there. Whoever's back there right guiding you back, it. you can actually go through Looking good. Come on and back. talk to that person. Perfect. So when they hear, you know, tell you to say stop. They Unbelievably stop. maneuverable little chassis. I'm going to guide him back a little bit. There you go. And we're good. So I just want you folks to see how easy it is to pilot something like this. It's under 30 foot. Plenty of room for this slide out to come out. And our display's back where it was. And that took about two minutes, not even. Thanks for watching, folks.